Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. Sadly, this bike isn't going to ride itself. To admit I'm really feeling it today. It's been a week since I went out cycling and even when uh, I went out last week I went and did a fairly easy route and uh, was pretty tired afterwards. Today I'm just riding my standard Buns Benton Ho route. It's a little bit hilly but at least I don't have to think too much. 30 kilometers so I'm just easing myself back into it fairly gently hopefully. Absolutely ferociously windy day today, which is making a difficult ride even harder. Now, I can't really put my finger on why I haven't been riding the last few days or so. It's not one thing, but uh, I have been away, so that's a contributing factor. And obviously, when I'm away, uh, I can't really ride that frequently. Plus, um, I think I've also kind of gone off track a little bit after the uh, 30 days of cycling challenge. Uh, if you remember watching that, I did say at the end that uh, I would like to use it as the basis of going out every other day, doing slightly longer rides. And for one reason or another, that just didn't happen. And I think one of the reasons there is that um, just the thought of getting on the bike and doing longer rides just kind of put me off a little bit which is obviously something that I'm gonna to have to get over so I think as we're going into the autumn now and the style of cycling is going to change somewhat it's also a good opportunity to uh, take stock and plan things out a bit more for the coming season One of the reasons I've chosen this Buns Benton Ho route is because I know it so well and I'm able to gauge my fitness on here, which incidentally <laughs> is definitely not that good. Feels like I've never ridden a bike. So here we are, it's the beginning of September and here in the Northern Hemisphere we are obviously going into the autumn and as I mentioned earlier that does mean that the style of riding will change somewhat. Traditionally uh, cycling clubs have used the off season to, to kind of be a bit more social, the rides are a bit longer, they're a bit easier uh, and you know there's time for chatting and socialising and stuff like that so I think um, that's one uh, strategy that I could take to get some fitness back um, but I've also been hearing a lot about this new thing called HIT, which stands for high intensity interval training so 
that kind of turns the old school longer easier rides on their heads and you start going out for shorter harder rides and studies have shown that the fitness benefit that you get from those rides aren't all that different from the longer easier rides so um, obviously you save a bit of time you're not out in the wet and the cold quite as long um, so uh, yeah the coin is still in the air for me which uh, strategy I will take now obviously going into the autumn does mean that the weather's going to change as well at the moment we're not too bad here it's about 20 degrees as you can see it's a kind of a nice uh, sunny day uh, and it's quite pleasant but I, I do know that that will change fairly rapidly and we'll start getting a lot more rain um, I'm going to go out on the road whenever I can but obviously I also have my turbo trainer so I'll be using that a lot more a very slight change of plans uh, I've decided not to do the complete Buns, Benton, Ho route. Uh, I'm going to carry on past the village of Hambledon, go up Ant Hill into Denmead and home that way. Now that's not for any particular reason other than the fact that I'm just fancy doing this route today. There we go, nearly home. And I have to admit that I didn't enjoy that ride quite as much as perhaps I should have done. And that's obviously down to not being fit and then the wind making it even more difficult. Hopefully as I get back on the bike, things will get better. Now that I'm home, showered and relaxed, I can reflect a little on today's ride. So in short, no, it wasn't the best of rides and that was basically down to me not being very fit. It's surprising just how quickly you can lose fitness. I finished the 30 days of cycling back in the middle of July and I felt pretty fit and pretty good after that. And then a little while later I went away and that's when things started to go wrong. It only takes about two weeks of not riding for you to lose approximately half of any fitness that you have. And okay, I was getting on the bike again and doing little rides here and there, but they, they clearly weren't enough to maintain the fitness that I built up during the challenge. Unfortunately for me, due to the nature of my job means that I do occasionally have to spend time away from home. Now that's not good news if I'm trying to maintain any fitness because nine times out of ten I can't really do any cycling. Now okay uh, I was fairly lucky when I went to Estonia and I managed to get a single ride in but if you watch that film the ride itself wasn't particularly strenuous at all so I'm not really going to count that as exercise. Now we all live increasingly busy lives and this kind of thing is going to happen to quite a lot of us. So it's not really a question of if your fitness goes down, it's more of a question of when your fitness goes down. So when it happens, all that you can do is just embrace it, get back on the bike as soon as you can and start building it up again. While I'm here, I thought I'd do a couple of pieces of housekeeping. I'm currently putting together another Jolly Good Velo jersey order, so if you're interested there's still plenty of time to buy one. The sizes range from extra small to 6XL, so they will fit literally anybody, and if you'd like to buy one you can email me for details, I'll leave my email address below. 
And secondly, don't forget that we also have a Jolly Good Velo Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook, please think about joining that. It's completely free. Uh, just go along and you can join in with all of the discussions that we're having in the group. Uh, again, I'll leave the details below. So if you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. It's completely free and you can do so by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.